I wish you just hooked that son of a bitch. I'm gonna ask you to teach him a lesson because he races us that way every time we get around him. You know he's gonna race you like a dick when you get there. He does it every time. Um. That was Larson's team. Yes, that was Larson's team. Who are they talking about? Do you know? Uh, I think it's somebody that might be on your team. Oh, I know who you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> okay. No, I don't know. Probably we, me. We don't have to name names. Probably me. Just you know, it was just a moment in the race. You have those we moments. Said, you got to hook that some bitch. So. Sometimes that happens, yeah. but that uh, won't happen. Well, we have two new guests on yeah. the show. <laughs> Ross, it's your first time ever on the show, it right? Is. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming on. Yep. And Kim is back. Surprisingly, we hired her again. Yeah. Yeah. She, I don't know if I should talk. <laughs> you want to inter- interrupt anybody? I don't want to interrupt anybody. Well, Kim, it's it's good to see you back. I hope you had a good time in Israel. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. We did have a little fun at your expense you while did. you were gone. We only we're did just... because you couldn't defend yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a kind of jerk move when you're out of the country. But Hey, that's that's what this show is yeah. about. That's right? true. Right? Yeah, would being you jerks. Have, would you have expected any less from us? No. Okay. I, expect, I wouldn't have. I expect when I, I'm not here for the podcast, you talk. Oh, yeah. yeah we, oh, no, yeah, it was all good. I oh, was so like, it's fine when you talk <laughs> shit about me, but when we do <laughs> No, you guys are back, fine. fine. I really yeah. didn't care. Uh-huh. I know right. the fans got a little testy. It's not. I don't interrupt on purpose. I get excited <laughs> to talk about things when you say something that like resonates. Like, I just get oh my really god! I gotta up. talk about this right now. Yeah, it's like she's. It's like I like. I like when there's symmetry. Oh, like symmetry is great. Yeah, yeah it's like we're like on the we're yeah, on the same yeah, wavelength, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, oh my gosh, yes. Geometry. So it's not like I'm talking to hear myself talk or interrupt. I just get really excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Ryan's yeah. looking at us like these. He's like you, mother. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, there's the first one. All right, first one of the day at ten oh nine. Hot out of the gate. Yeah. Coming in hot. We just mark them. We can, you can, you can drop the f bomb as yeah, much as you want to. We'll just yeah. impress it. Mark them. Yeah, we just mark it because I gotta bleep it for YouTube. Yeah, yeah. We keep them. We keep it uncensored for like the audio, the, the iTunes, listeners, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the R rated. Yes, uh, iTunes. YouTube yeah. is not apparently R rated. Very explicit. Yet. I didn't know YouTube was still such a big thing. Yeah, yeah. You did the 10 minute tour yeah. and some stuff for NASCAR yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Told some stories. That's hard to fill 10 minutes of on camera time. When did you do that? Uh, Friday morning, I Friday. guess, right when the garage opened. So everybody's busy and no one's around to talk. Yeah. And I found Michael nice. Waltrip, so that filled time. <laughs> that that yeah. filled probably, probably filled nine up. minutes. It was. It was, it was good. You, you just gave him the mic and be like, all right. Yeah, I did. He took it for, <laughs> he just yeah. took it from me. <laughs> yeah, YouTube's the thing. Yeah. It's crazy when, I, when I've when i been doing that IndyCar shoot mm-hmm. and you're out in the public and little kids, when they see cameras now, it's not like, am I on TV or is this TV? They ask, is this on YouTube? Mm-hmm. Can yeah. you tag me? It's can you tag me? Very, yeah. very weird. I did that 10 minute tour thing and in Charlotte and I gave a tour of like the trailer and crew guys that are in it and stuff. And they ended, and like you said, 10 minutes is really hard to fill. I thought I did a great job and they're like, you're halfway. Yeah. Like, yeah oh they hold the gosh. phone up behind the camera. Yeah. And it's, I'm like, I got five minutes left to BS. I don't know what to talk about. And we got through it and they ended up not even using it. <laughs> we're like, we're, we're not going to use it. Oh, no. And I know my producer's listening and he was the one who pulled the plug on it. Yeah. I mean, they were, they were yeah. Yeah, yeah. Didn't use we, it. We may, probably, you'll we, probably ask me again. Yeah, like we, a fifteen I, minute. I think we are going to ask you oh, again to do it later in the season, and uh, you know, just just probably won't kinda, use that one either. Well, we will use that one because there'll be a little bit more. Uh, we'll we'll give you a little bit more direction. Uh huh. Well, direction. I might be there when we do the next one. We're like, all right, Ryan. Yeah. Here's what you're going to do now. Here's a question you can <laughs> well, ask. So they didn't use like, it at all. Like it just no, they no, never posted so, it. No. I mean, they just deleted it off the film. <laughs> they probably weren't even rolling the whole time. They just wanted me to do it. <laughs> Did they give you any direction? They were just like, oh, talk about stuff. Yeah, they were just there. And they're like, here's Mike. Uh, they had me tell a couple like stories to start. Yeah. Not on the ten minute deal, and that kind of like broke the ice. And then um, the camera guy would laugh randomly. Like I would say something that like. It's not really that funny. And he would just be giggling. And I'm like, man, it's not that funny. Which, which camera, which camera guy? You know was it? Was, was it the uh, taller long, one long or hair. long hair? Uh, long hair. Yeah, style. Style? Yeah. <laughs> he was just trying to break the ice. Yeah. Trying yeah, to, yeah. He, but he, I was like, and here's where we keep like our spare motors. And he's just like giggling behind the camera. Like, <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Maybe he was in his own head, well, like telling his own jokes. That was part of the, like, in your hauler, you were like opening up uh, – cabinets and stuff is like we had to like blur out a bunch of things oh, and it was goodness. like yeah some of it they were like oh yeah don't shoot that don't so shoot i think that. that's when he was giggling there he's like <laughs> yeah we might have to blur this out well i'm like I opened you, a, need, you don't need to blur my trailer <laughs> i opened a drawer and it was like one spring i'm like everyone has this spring <laughs> yeah. like it's not a secret spring made of unicorns like it's and like the snack drawer yeah. i don't know if they're like oh we can't have the pop tarts in there what? No. it's a it's a it's conflict i wonder if what people like outside of racing that don't know that there's like proprietary things that you can't film what they would think if it just is like you're opening ca- if they watch it and you're opening cabinets and care. stuff is blurred no but somebody that doesn't know like what's in there that like 
dildos? Like, what are they blurring? <laughs> well, because, yeah, what do they blur on TV? What do they blur right? on Bad TV? Stuff. That's so, yeah, on, not like a shock or something. Yeah. I'm telling you, teams are very sensitive about what you can and can't yeah. shoot with a camera. Yeah, like when we used to do the uh, inspection uh, back at the back when it was at the R and D center. When Hendrick would come in and, and Knaus was this was when Jimmy was was winning a good bit. He would come in and he would realize where the cameras were and start to position tool chests in front of the cameras. And then they ended up putting a logo on what like it's they were just with us, which was kind of funny. So mm-hmm. Mark that one. Yeah, I'm going to mark that one at 10 mm. uh, 13. Well, yeah, I mean, that's well, like, yeah, sometimes teams get mad at cameramen for like, like but, we're practicing the hoods up and they'll like get all in yeah. there. Like, what are you doing? Well, we look at it and we're like, well, that's an engine. I don't I like, see. Yeah. I don't see yeah. anything that looks. But when the other teams can go in and like freeze frame, they're like, "Oh, that's what they're doing with that brake line." There. Yeah. I mean, everyone looks at a, like the two cars you're yeah. next to and points in the garage. The guys are always right. looking under the hood. Right. But still, it's like if people actually have like a recording of it. Then, I yeah. like the idea that there's like, that. like f- fan spies. Like f- there's fans yeah. that are being paid to be mm-hmm. spies. And yeah. No, it's not fans. Sp- it's it's. Or like employees, employees that are as dressed as fans. fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the, it's the Vegas. funniest thing. You can tell who they are. Oh, yeah. I, but that's crazy, up. though. Yeah, Vegas, they got that overwalk. Mm-hmm. And yeah, they'll dress up. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's got like the nicest camera ever. And yeah. I mean, he's like wearing a like a ripped like Keselowski, <laughs> yeah. like well, yeah. ripped arm shirt. A plaid shirt and blue jeans. He blends in. Oh, yeah. Speaking of blending in, uh, Kim, you just got back from Israel. I did. How was it? It's amazing. The best trip I've ever taken in my life. Tell us about it. Yes. What did you do? What did you Everything. Do? We were all over the country. We were in Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, the Old City, uh, the Negev. I think I said that right. Desert, like the middle of the desert. We went to the Syrian border and huh. did ATVs on the Syrian border. Hmm. Like which on is, the border? Like right along. Right like you could it. see the wall. There's like a partition. Mm-hmm. They have a wall? Where, they have a wall? So anytime you... Not that can't just skip over that. Um, so anytime you hear about like conflict <laughs> she, and like... Don't talk about it. Yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to skip over that. Uh, the you Golan to, Heights, you like to bleep that out. Crossfire, no. The what? The beep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It it was crazy because the next day there was like um like rocket fire like in Golan Heights where the Syrian border is, and Jeez. Israeli border is. Yeah, it was amazing. So what was the point? Like, what was your goal there? What was your mission? Um, so it was me and a there were like a fifty of us total um that worked in the sports or in wellness realm and they were just identified as like leaders or change makers in their space so it's like come there and create a community and mm. connect and make the world a better place uh, what, there, what there was, was some the, kumbaya moments for sure oh yeah yeah what was the craziest thing you did what was the what was the craziest thing you saw um they took us out to the middle of the desert the negev desert where there's this crater that's like 25 miles or kilometers long and they took us out like in the nighttime, there's no lights anywhere. We weren't allowed to like use our cell phones for light. And they like march us out to the middle of the desert. The sky is so expansive. It's more stars than I've ever seen in my life collectively. Mm. And then we like ate dinner in the middle of the desert. And there was like a band like with a sitar and we Mm. drank wine and danced. And it's like not something you could do. Like the foundation that took us like sets this up. So you can't just travel mm. to Israel and be like, I want that experience. I want to go to the desert. I want to go to the sitar. middle. So we're in the middle of this crater. It's like this, I forgot what the name. Ramon, what type of crater? Was it like a meteor crater? Or Not what? a meteor crater. It was yeah. something to do with like limestone. I don't know. They hmm. did They did make a point to say it's not an actual crater because I guess in, a crater has to be created by a meteor. So it was like a mine. They, still, they mined it. No, it was still natural. Oh, it was natural. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Were you ever so was, worried? No, not at all. No. Not at all. Everybody asked me, like, are you going to feel safe over there? I felt completely safe the entire time. Yeah. And I don't know if this is appropriate to say on the podcast, but, like, we're there and we're fine, and there's a deadly shooting in America. So, eh. Did you see any good graffiti? Like, uh, <laughs> Chuck's, like, uh, Chuck's like, I might have to <laughs> delete like, that later. Yeah. Uh, Skirt. Well, okay, yeah, I'll get so I felt that. fine. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's good. Like, I don't think, like, you know, you go in there, and like I said, I'm going to Istanbul and Russia next week, and buddy of mine just went to Istanbul for like five days. He was like, it was a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. He was like, it's not bad. He was like, people make it out to be, I'm sure there's areas, there's areas in any part of the world yeah. that are yeah. bad. There's but areas everywhere. You can find somewhere bad in Charlotte. Yeah. Exactly. Um, no, I didn't feel unsafe so. at all. We had a security guy with us too the entire time. Mm. And he would like randomly appear, like you would like 
That's what I was you're like behind the, a tree and you're like, what's, what is <laughs> the same with the undercover folks? Like, yeah, there's a lot of like the, uh, Israeli army, uh, a lot of them are young and they, uh, can blend really mm. well. Well, you have to serve in the army, the, uh, IFD what's or IDF, excuse me, IDF, Israeli defense force Yes. for three years. Hmm. When you're 18, you have to. You have to. You have it's to. Requirement. You're required. Wow. Males and females or everybody? everybody. Yep. Hmm. Compulsory service. Yes. Wow. That's but we really didn't really neat. see like people people that had been there, but like you're going to see like machine guns all the, everywhere and stuff because I guess the if you're in the IDF, you have to carry them, but we hmm. didn't. The only time we saw like forces that were armed were there, there was an incident the morning of uh, Shabbat slash Ramadan, like, in the old city. So when we went to the Western Wall, there was some heavily armed mm. guards. Because you're right there. Yes. Yeah. 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 It sounds like it was yeah, a lot of fun. amazing. It does. It does. Ten, Write that 19. down. <laughs> yeah. I bet it was fun. Did you, were you ready to come home? Um, I wish I could have, like, come home and slept in my bed for a night and then have mm. been back to do more stuff. Mm. So yes and no. The beds yeah. weren't comfortable? No, the beds were great. They were small, though. I had a roommate the whole time, but the beds were, like, smaller than a twin size. I think it helped me sleep, though, because it was almost like a coffin. So, like, couldn't you couldn't... Mm. I, like, toss and turn a lot in my sleep, so because I was forced not to toss and turn... Slept better. I slept like a baby. Mm. Or like a vampire. Whatever you want to... Mm. Well, coffin. Coffin. Yeah. Vampire sleeping. Do you have any aspirations to go to... Where's the craziest place you've been? Uh, on a cruise... To the Bahamas? I don't know. Uh, it's wild. Yeah, it's pretty crazy down Rural there. Royal Caribbean? Carnival. Ah, nice. Ah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. No, 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 no overseas traveling. Yeah. Well, did you get That's approved? Fun. Ryan, you're, we're gonna, Luckily, you're going yes. to? Luckily, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm Russia approved. I can go. Uh, so it was the weirdest thing. I don't know if I talked about it, but we had a, getting into Russia is very hard. And uh, you had to fill out all this paperwork. I had to send all these photos of yourself that you want on your visa. We had to send our passports to Russia, and I was like, "I hope I get this back." Like your actual, not like a like a photocopy. No, a our passport, my actual passport. That makes me so nervous. To Russia, and they have to look at it and study it and stuff. And uh, you actually you had to have like <clears throat> two pages clear in your passport for them because then your visa comes back and it's a takes up a whole page of your passport, and uh, it's got your photo on it and it has a bunch of Russian words on. I don't know what I don't have no idea what it says. Probably could be like, apprehend this guy as soon as he gets yeah, into this right? country. <laughs> Don't spit on you, yeah. bitches. <laughs> but I'm good to go. So, yeah. I'll be interested we'll to see. ask when you come back what kind of questions they asked when you entered and left the country. Because they asked some interesting questions yeah. to people upon their return and, le- and leaving the country. Yeah, I, I bet. I bet. Yeah, going to Russia is probably not. Yeah. Probably going to patch you down. Probably get the rubber glove out here. Mm -hmm. Like, can you please come sit in this room for uh, 30 (laughs) minutes while we debrief you? I will say the watermelon, I'm bringing this up because you're a watermelon. The watermelon in Israel was delicious. And I think I've had a conversation with you about how finding watermelon with seeds is very difficult, Mm -hmm. at least in America. And I like seeded watermelon because it tastes better. And they have it? And they had it. And it was delicious. That's. It's the cool. watermelon was I, fantastic there. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever had a watermelon that I was like, eh. <laughs> I think a lot of watermelon is pretty good. I don't but know. Maybe, what, it's a, maybe it was. One summer, I, I, I was like in a kick and I want a watermelon like all the time. And if you eat it frequently enough, you find some, duds, well, yeah, some you, duds in a batch. Right. Right. Yeah. You can you can find an old one. Yeah. Are Stores you, let them sit Or one long. that's not as sweet. Yeah. Are you a salt on your watermelon? No? Nope. You ever heard anybody that does that? Yeah. yeah. My grandpa used to do that. Yeah. I think it's like an old folks thing. Hmm. People still do it now, but yeah. people salt everything. Yeah. True. So I don't True. salt my eggs. Do you don't salt your eggs? No. Like, do you put hot sauce on them? No. What do you put Just on eggs. your eggs? Cheese. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, cheese Cheesy on Cheesy eggs. Yeah. yeah. I got. I, I salt some stuff. I'm more pepper things. Than salt. Yeah. Yeah. Pepper's okay. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy the pepper stuff. But are you guys in season right now? Like, you We just got done. Just yeah, got done. So we, uh, we finished up about a week and a half ago and- all done in South Florida and um, then really? moved up to North Florida and, oh, okay. and South Georgia. Okay. So, what yeah. is, oh, so there's like a... Sorry. It follows the season. So as it got warm. Ah, so, it goes up. so we plant hmm. like the... We put ours in the ground the first week of January. And they're two months after that, six weeks. If I plant a watermelon seed, can I grow a vine of watermelons? Is it you difficult? Probably, probably grow a vine. You won't grow a watermelon, though. Oh, dang. 
Why so not? The clay around here is bad. Oh. So if you if you had some sandier soil, so everybody on the, in the Carolinas is on the coast. Ah. Mm-hmm. Tricky. Yep. I'm learning all about it. Yes. I didn't know that. I want to know what the the harvest of watermelons is like. Like, is it just like a tractor with like a flatbread, and you're just picking them up? Putting no. Them in? So, um, have you ever had Chip Weil on here? We <laughs> we we have it's we a touchy had, subject. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's a no. Yeah. No. yeah, he's yeah we, we've had him. On. Well, yeah. he's he's going to come to uh, to Georgia before the Daytona race next or this month. Oh. And um, be harvest. a watermelon harvester for a day. So oh, I'm going to okay. actually put him to work. Yeah. Watch yeah. him sweat. I think he, That's awesome. he needs that. I think he needs he, that. Um, he for sure needs that. Yeah. Uh, right before the Coke 600, he was there in Charlotte, and he came in to the holler, sitting in there with Joey, and I'm eating uh, a salad, and Joey's drinking a shake, and Chip comes in with his plate, <clears throat> and it had two bratwurst, a bunch of baked beans, um, fried chicken, French fries. Like, what are you? What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Rubbing it in. Me and Joey are trying to be all good and eat healthy. And you um, should figure out a way to <laughs> f- with him. Which one? Sorry. Oh, you good. With you're a good. chip. Oh. When he comes to work for you. When you like. Oh yeah, definitely. Like tell him yeah. something that's ab- about watermelon harvesting that's completely fake. Like you have to like clap three times before you pick like pick it off the vine. Something <laughs> just yeah. ridiculous yeah. and make him do it. Or okay. say since it's your first time, all greenies they have to eat. Three whole watermelons. Right before you start. Right before you start. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then you have your first watermelon that you pick up, you have to like crack open and like rub the juice on yes, your face. Yes, something. So. Kind of like Lion King. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like your first kill of the year or something. <laughs> yeah. You got to some blood on your face. Yeah. Figure out something he has to do yeah. either while harvesting or before okay. or after and really sell it. I feel like yeah. you can sell it. Yeah. It's, um, it's all labor intensive though. So it's all by hand. So you pick it up by hand, throw it up to a guy in a school bus. And a school bus. Yeah, we use school buses. Oh, so we used to use like international trucks with mm. uh, manual transmissions, and everybody burns the clutches up. Yeah. And these Allison transmissions are bulletproof. So mm. we, um, yep, That's do nice. that, and then cool. unload them. And you, so you touch them three times, basically, to harvest the watermelon. You have to manually touch it three different times. Mm. Huh. Now, how many bu- how many school buses are there? Like, if you're oh, looking at a field of watermelon, oh, is this just uh, this? Uh, like no. migration of school buses. Right. So you, normally there's like three load crews. So there'd be three school buses getting loaded. Okay. And then the crews kind of rotate because you can't go all day. I can't go for five minutes and harvest watermelons. Like, I don't, we're not athletes, right? Let's be honest. <laughs> no, we're not athletes. So we can't <laughs> do it. Um, but yeah, our guys are great and they're, hmm. they work, we keep them on most of the year and they want to work. And it's. That's awesome. cool. I assume you've taken the seats out of the buses. Yes. Because that would... We strap the seed belts in. For a second, I thought you said seeds. We we remind them to protect their melon. Right, right, right. Buckle up. helmets Ah. on. No, no, no. Seat belts. No no helmet. No helmet. Protect your melon just means wear your seat belt. Uh, Yeah, because you're... Yeah. Unless you're on a motorcycle. Use your melon means drive sober. Or get pulled over. Interesting. Click it. Or no, it's not a melon thing. No. Use your melon. It It, it goes with... Yeah, yeah, that's way... That's different. That's That's a whole different brand. Bleep that out. <laughs> like, what the hell was he talking about? We actually cut the roofs off too. Oh, most of, of the have, school bus? have the school roofs buses? cut a convertible. Yeah. Sometimes awesome. they'll leave a little like bikini top on top. It's kind of <laughs> Keep the sun off the driver. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, off of the watermelons. Oh, off they'll the water. sunburn. Oh. What? Watermelons For real? Can sunburn. Yeah. That's what you need to tell Chip to do. Get a put sunscreen on. Oh, please, that's it. We don't want to ruin any watermelons. In there, grease the watermelon. Like yes. You, maybe that's what it is. You fit, you you. He has to put sunscreen but on. New people have to use the squeeze tube, and I'm allowed to use the aerosol. <laughs> yeah. They really sunburn though. They or are do. you messing with us? No. The, and, and there's what actually. Happens? Uh, the, they just get too much what sun. What happens Kim? when something gets sunburned? No, like to a watermelon when it gets sunburned. It gets sunburned. The, Does it get greener? Yeah, like. Oh, it gets browner. Browner. Just it's rots like a sunburn. Oh, so right. it rots it. Yeah. Kind it, of. Yeah. So it'll, oh. um, it'll actually do kind of like a halo effect on the top. I mean, the top will be sunburnt, and it's like a circle. Interesting. Um, it's a circle. It's not a square. It's yeah. a circle. So yeah. Didn't they try – didn't – wasn't there a square watermelon that was grown at some point? I remember Google that. it. I've, it was in Japan or something. It was a foreign country. Yeah. I've grown a square one. You have? I've grown a heart one. Well, my cousin grew the heart one. How do you do that? Do you put the seeds like Big in brownie a box plants. or something? Yeah, plexiglass yeah. box. So those really sunburn because plexiglass, it's yeah, an inch like thick. It's like a magnifying glass. Greenhouse. So uh-huh. um, I had to cover it with newspaper. Yep. Squares, hearts. There's all kinds yep. of. Is there a market for shaped watermelons? No. no. Dang. Like a fruit basket, but it's just a big, big heart watermelon. Well, we do fruit baskets but like when we have a 
probably gonna have to bleep this out because my dad's gonna kill me. But uh, when we have hollow watermelons, our idea is you cut it in half and sell it as a clamshell, and you put like grapes in there where there should be watermelon meat. So there's you know, hollow like, watermelons. Well, yeah, you'll have problems. We don't okay. sell the hollow ones, so a market to sell the ho- like right. everybody. How do you know you get, it's hollow? You get a certain you tap percentage. It? No, that's what you should make Chip do is to say that you in to order to figure out if, if it's right that you have to tap it like three times and listen for any sort of echo and so yeah. Chip's just out there like tapping, tapping all, the well, all these buttons with his ear close to it say put the school buses like 100 yards apart and say that's the hollow one that's the yeah. <laughs> you gotta carry it down that's there that's the full one you gotta carry it that one <laughs> that'd be funny he's gonna cuss me <laughs> he deserves it he said we love Chip camera crew too so it's gonna be weird that's yeah. even better I wanna, so you I really have to get the, oh, yeah. you really have to get the prank on camera yeah. the only trouble is he might be listening no <laughs> Or somebody that works in Daytona might be listening. If they're don't listening, they're going to want to prank Chip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, don't. Send us your ideas. Yes. Yeah. Or just give them a big satchel that only holds like three <laughs> watermelons. Like, All right, you got to haul these back and forth <laughs> to the farmhouse, to back to the field. <laughs> this is how we do it, bud. Yeah. We use the olden ways. <laughs> yeah. They didn't have school buses back in the day. <laughs> this is Amish watermelon That's harvesting. Good, man. I had no idea. Well, you know. The intricacies. The amount of this big operation that mm-hmm. you guys had going on. Yeah. Yeah. How many people do you employ? Uh, like for my dad's farm down in Florida, uh, there's five full-time guys with him and my brother included and um, one uncle and then two guys hired. And um, beyond that, then our harvest crew comes in and that's actually from the the sales side. They bring mm-hmm. in, we, we sell as a finished watermelon in the field and they harvest it, pack it and ship it and huh. sell it. So they handle mm-hmm. all that. We don't have to yeah. mess with all that. So. Very cool. The H two A programs now and all that. It's it's a crazy deal these these days trying to have enough workers. It's hmm. hard work. Sounds like a yeah, workout. So if anything happens, you guys can always come work harvest watermelons. You know, I might. If this racing thing doesn't that. work out, Ryan, yeah. you can uh, be a watermelon a harvester. Harvesting watermelons. I have to get in better shape. Yeah, get in better. Shape, Are the guys though. jacked that harvest? Not really, them? no. But they like when they fight, they just don't stop. Because their stamina is just insane. What do you mean when they like, fight? Like they, you know, people get in fights. Like if me and Ryan got in a fight, it'd be about two punches, and yeah. I'd be on the ground, and we'd be worn out, and he would be tired, and I'd be asleep. But with those guys, it's they just don't stop. They're really strong. Okay. They are strong, but they're not right. like jacked. I might okay. eat a lot of watermelon. That's what keeps them going. All right, good for your heart. Hey, I'm selling them right here. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never been like the biggest watermelon person. I just. I enjoy that. them. I just don't. Uh, I don't need them a lot. I like them when you some reason fill them up with uh, corn vodka. corn squeezins. Vodka. <laughs> you know, corn squeezins. You, vodka. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's or gin. I guess gin would be good in watermelon. I was going more for the homegrown. Oh, vodkas. moonshine. Yeah, moonshines. I love watermelon. So, yeah. um, let me know if you have any extra. <laughs> <laughs> They're out there in the back of the truck getting yeah, somewhere right. right now. I yeah, almost yeah. brought one, but yeah, yeah, that's all right. I had some this weekend, actually. Have you ever tried to give it to your dog? Watermelon? Yeah. No. Do they love watermelon? Uh, mine doesn't. Yeah. No. I have to try. I don't. I don't give him a lot of human people food. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> they just because then they just start begging for it ah. all the time. So we don't give Otis people food either. Yeah. And well, he doesn't beg. He's great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're that dog's like a human. He is. <laughs> that's, he's the best. He has. More human clothes than I do, I think. Yeah, he does. He's got a rain jacket, a sweater for the uh, winter. <laughs> I don't know. You wear hats? Is he I'll a hat show dog? You a rain ja- um, we put him in hats occasionally. Does he have any shoes? Just for like pictures, though. Uh, no boots? shoes. I should get him booties because when it rains. Does he do like the. I don't want to. Th- oh, man. Does a cute puffer. Jeez. Otis. What? That looks. With a rain ja- He's got a hood on. It doesn't. This It didn't really fit him that well. No, it looks hilarious. <laughs> yeah. He he's a, he's a big floof, so when it rains, it's a lot easier to at least have him covered a little bit. Well, don't take him out in the rain. He's got to use the facilities, though. <laughs> if I could potty train him, that'd be great. I wonder like if there are any dogs. I wonder if there are any dogs. Yeah, because you know how people train their cats to use the toilet. That's not a toilet. It's just a box of sand. No, no, no. no like they, no. There's a way to train them where you get like this plastic thing with rings. And you it's you put litter on top of it that sits over the toilet, huh. and then you slowly poke out the holes so the hole gets bigger and bigger till it's the size of the toilet seat, and then the cat just gets up there and sits on the toilet. And when if, if you ever walk in on a cat 
taking a <laughs> shit on the toilet. <laughs> like that is just a weird, weird thing to see. I How don't do you know, know so much that. about this, Chuck? Because one of my friends who is a fan of the podcast, he's a glass hole, Justin Brooks, uh, had a cat in Asheville that they trained to do this. But then you're just wasting a toilet. Like you can't use that. No, you can. But because they clean. only had one toilet in their apartment. So they're cleaning kitty litter off of it all the time and, and mm-hmm. worried the cat. Did you use well, kitty litter? No, I, wow. I, I, yeah. Well, you can like eventually lift the thing off and, you know. Eventually, though, yeah. they learned to use it without the litter. Right. Part. That's the whole. But I was there when they were training. Huh. And then they're after. The cat, I guess, doesn't know. close the door. <laughs> Cats can't close the door. Cur- courtesy flush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sprinkles, can you flush it, please? Thanks. <laughs> I just Turn can't. Fan on. A buddy of mine has. <laughs> Light cat, a match, Sprinkles. Cat living in his, in his apartment, and uh, it's a two-bedroom. So the guest bedroom or guest bathroom is like the cat's bathroom. Oh. Like, you don't go in there. And he doesn't have a litter box for it. He just filled the bathtub. Oh, my God. With, Stop. With kitty litter. Yeah. Oh. I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't like the, cats. The, so. uh, yeah. Resale value person. on that house. <laughs> Maybe apartment. Apartment. apartment, yeah, but the uh, smell it just smells like litter and shit all it's the time. Terrible. I'm like, man, dude. I used to house it, my, it, yeah, neighbors when I was little, and they had like eight cats, and it was terrible to go and change the litter. Do you have any pets, Ross? A dog. What kind of dog? Uh, a mutt. Okay. Ro- Rhodesian Ridgeback. It's oh, those are word. cool. Those uh, are cool was, dogs. The mom wandered up to our farm um, and had puppies. And so. What do you love? I've actually? had more. I feel like I've heard more people refer to their mutts as Rhodesian that's Ridgebacks. The, that's code in, for mutt. Yeah, right. It in, is. That's I the, gotta look them up. That's to the remind. googled yeah. term. Mm-hmm. What's yeah. his name? Copper. Fun Copper. fact. Uh, what's your dog's name? Sturgill. Sturgill and Copper um, explored the inner cities of Richmond yeah, um, this year. Yeah. Um, a- expand. They ran off. They um, well <laughs> together. Blaney's no. dog is very well trained and. Mm-hmm. And, and stays and um, uh, what's your bus driver's name? Tom. Tom. Jeez. Tom. Uh, Tom came walking by and I was out there with Copper and I was. He's like, oh, well, Copper stay. I was like, yeah. And I let him off the leash and that was that. And they were just running around, running around. And then my dog um, saw a squirrel and <laughs> squirrel. took off to the woods. I and can. I there's can, neighborhoods yeah, right there. Relate to and, that. And Sturgill followed and Tom was not happy with me. <laughs> oh. He looked at me and I. I, I, they'll come back eventually. Like, yeah. I really wasn't worried about it. Copper yeah. comes back all the time, and um, he wasn't happy. So he he started talking to me again. But hmm. so it, what did did the dogs come back, or did you yeah, have to go after them? A couple minutes. Yeah, they they'll always come back. Yeah. I mean, like I'm not worried about them. But yeah, if <sighs> Sturgill right. sees another dog take off. He's running after yep. him. He they he like, won't they were be the leader. Each other. But, yeah, I don't think Otis would come back. Not because he wouldn't want to. I don't know that he would be able to get back. He would probably take the sidewalk back. He probably He's a very would. proper dog. He's a proper dog. <laughs> <laughs> My dog just went through the woods. Okay. So just yeah. tears through it. I, I, I do love the name, though, Sturgill. Or not yeah. Sturgill, oh, Sturgill, but also Otis. O- Otis. Like, just, who names a dog Otis? Uh, oh, f- name. Who names a dog Paul? I love people names. Copper's like a dog <laughs> name, but it's like a you like can mark it down for ten thirty six. Yeah, Copper's a dog name. Like when you name a dog Otis, it's like that's not a dog name. I love that's a animals. That's a people name. I love especially dogs with people names, especially male dogs like Thomas, or yeah. This is my dog Thomas. Yeah, he has a golden chocolate pupper doodle. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making no. a dog. Yeah. Name. I don't have a dog. I can't have. Yeah. No. Henry. Are you a Every, cat guy? No, no, no. Everyone in my family has dogs, but you know, I live in an apartment and I can't have a dog. It's a big and deal. Traveling, like yeah. I can't take like, it with me all the time. So it's hard. Bummer. I waited until yeah. I got into a house. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. My sister's got a dog. She lives like a block and a half away. So I look after that dog. My mom's got a dog that is basically my dog because every time like I show up at her house, she knows the sound of my car. Mm. I walk in the door and she's just doing the dog shake thing. So that's my dog. It just lives with my mom. Okay. Yeah. You're missing out and on her the, name is You're Sally. missing out on the snugs. See? Well, a person yeah. name. <laughs> you don't technically have a dog. Like, uh, he stays with me a lot. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Getting the evil eye dog. for those that can't see. Yeah. It's a shared dog. Shared. Hopefully we never divorce. I'll stop it. Because. <laughs> that man would be lost. We'll be, well, thank you. Uh, Literally, I don't think he'd know how to do anything. Probably not. Um, yeah, he's <laughs> our dog. <laughs> <laughs> our dog. So when's the wedding? Hey. Oh. How do you know we're not already married? You know, Howdy. I don't, know. Hey. I don't see a ta- I mean, is there a ta- Would you get a tattoo ring? Like, I how would, would you, not. Or would you like 
tattoo a ring somewhere that's no, like not on I don't the... I don't care like, if I get married or not. If I got married, I wouldn't have a wedding and I don't want a ring. It's a waste of money. You wouldn't get a K plus J forever. <laughs> not. Like tattooed like right not. there. I feel like that is in a heart with an arrow through an it. An immediate um, indicator that K-J-O. something is going to go wrong. If you get ta- if you K get, plus J plus O. Um, if you get a ring or like initials tattoo, I think the relationship will eventually fail. I, I I don't disagree. How many stories do you hear people saying like they had to get a tattoo removed or like change it to something else because it was like their lover's name? Oh yeah, something. like yeah. Sarah on a neck or something. <laughs> yeah. Just cross through it and then write Jane. <laughs> yeah, cross through that. Cro- yeah, <laughs> that'd be a pretty. That actually fun... would be funny if you just had like a list. <laughs> that would be <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. Even if you didn't get divorced eight times, yeah, that'd be pretty funny. It'd be a funny story. Hmm. I try that. Do, yeah. you any, do you have any secret name tattoos that you're not telling us about? Uh, no, no. I wish I could think of something. Just the butterfly. Funny. Yeah, just yeah. Oh, oh, the small on, the, on my back. Yeah, on the yeah, small of your yeah, back. Yeah, just, do you have any tattoos, Ross? No. Would you get a tattoo? No. Well, careful there. No. You're, you're sitting by two people that have That's multiple fine. tattoos. That's fine. Have you done that? I look at like no, them. I know. You just it was like a look of disgust. You're yeah, like tattoo no. people were kind of like cat people. Oh, oh wow! Okay, all right. Let's let's dive into this. <laughs> that hurt. All right, bad. Proceed. I want to hear no, the. That's that's all that needs to be said, right? <laughs> They're okay. like cat people. Okay. He just said we all shit in sand, and <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can do that and make cool. make weird. Yeah, I probably will. We're weird. I don't know. Did you have to use any kind of weird bathrooms in uh, where you were? No, the bathrooms were all actually pretty good. They don't. Like the flushing mechanism does not flush powerfully. Hmm. And if it's a water thing, because they don't have, um, like, water is relatively scarce hmm. all over the country. Um, so, like, you would flush and it wouldn't always, always go down all the way. Like so, take, don't, and, don't take very don't take big a sh- Don't take curves. a shit in Israel. <laughs> just <laughs> save go, it. Or just go in the sand. Or go it. in the sand like, like a cat. cat. <laughs> um, but most of the bathrooms were... Normal. We might make Chip do that at the farm. Actually, oh yeah. Like, there's no bathrooms. It's no a bathroom. sand like, pit back here. It's just yeah. Out there in the woods. Yeah. yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Give him a poison ivy leaf too <laughs> to wipe with. <laughs> here's some That'd old, be a little bit. Here's too some far. old newspaper. Go ahead and use <laughs> yeah. that to wipe. Yeah. That'd be pretty yeah. good. But on um because who is oh hmm. hey that's Jose my boy <laughs> um <laughs> what was I gonna dad. say oh but on Shabbat because. There's a lot of uh, obviously Jewish people there and Orthodox Jews. Like you can't look, use electricity on Shabbat. Um, so like if you go into a restroom and wash your hands, like the dryer wouldn't work. So you just had to like air dry on yeah, Shabbat. Yeah, that shit. Yeah. Hmm. Did you buy any clothing? Um, some... I didn't. No? no. Nothing to nothing like a to like commemorate. A special I bought thing a piece of art. Yeah. Because I like art. How was the food? Oh, what was it? What was the best place you ate? Everywhere. Uh, everywhere. Everywhere was so good. Yeah. Did the you, food was delicious. Oh, that's good. Did well, you have any challah? I ate all of the. Well, yeah, I had challah. What about manischewitz? Manischewitz. Um. Manischewitz is the wine. The the oh, very uh, grapey, yeah. Uh, Jewish. Yeah, we had wine. we did some wine and some blessings of the wine. Lots of hummus. Hummus. The hummus is not the same as it is here. Is it better? It's so much better. It's yeah. smoother and creamier. I bet it's, do you I like hummus, Ross? I do. Yeah. Hummus Who doesn't is like good. hummus? Yeah. I will probably never never eat as well as I did on this trip any other time. Mm. It was so fresh. Everything was so fresh. Don't they? Are what they you, big uh, lamb? Do they eat lamb? There's a lot lamb. There? Yeah. There's lamb kebabs and stuff. We yeah. had a lot of, for some reason, vegetarian vegan meals for the first half of the trip. And then we mm. had, yeah, but lamb, like all the lamb there, beef. I mean, they have. Chicken shawarma. Yeah. Shawarma. Shawarma. Shawarma king. Uh, Burroughs just sent a text from, uh, what's that? The big Lebowski. Said, Don't dude. roll a fucking Shomer Shabbos, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got to rewatch that movie. <gasps> great film. You a fan of uh, The Big Lebowski? Have you seen The Big Lebowski? No. Oh, mm. It's a great film. I, are John they making? Goodman. I think they're making a second one. Are they? I thought I read somewhere are they? that they're making a second one. Why? I, why why, would why mess ruin? with perfection? Mm. A lot of these movies that you know were great twenty years ago and stuff, when they all make remakes, they're just not good. It's just too long of a time gap. Not Be- good. The actors and actresses are way older. There was Big Lebowski two short comedy in two thousand eleven. Oh well, what? Oh, well wrong. that doesn't. Yeah. Count. It was just a teaser for the Super Bowl. Oh, oh. yeah, That's like when they did the yes. the the uh, uh, commercial. Danny McBride doing the Australia thing and Crocodile oh. Dundee. You know, where Danny okay. McBride was Crocodile Dundee's son. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that was parody. I it thought was, that was actually it was like a be visit a... Australia ad. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Ah, I mean, it was funny. It had its moments. Yeah. Would you really want to see Danny McBride do uh, Crocodile Dundee? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. He's kind of funny. He's got a new show coming out on HBO's. Called? Uh, the F- Fabulous Gemstones or something like that. It's about a family. It's John Goodman. Danny McBride, and then uh, Adam, the guy from Workaholics, Divine? Adam Devine? Yeah, Divine. Divine. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's the three of them. They're a family of, like, evangelical uh, TV ministers. Oh, that sounds interesting. (laughs) Yeah. Hmm. So, that should be fun. Like Joel Olstein? Yeah, but, like, more extra. Uh, More More extra extra than Joel Joel, Yeah, Jinx. (laughs) Think, like, gemstones and, like... Poofy hair. hair. Like Conway like Twitty Tammy in the Faye, 80s. You know Tam- Conway Twitty in the 80s? Tammy, Tammy Faye, Faye and, Baker. And Jim, Jim Baker and Tammy yeah. Faye. Yeah, down there in uh, Rock Hill. PTL. They're from Rock Hill. That's where their whole thing was. The, uh, what was, uh, oh, the Christian Broadcast. Isn't the Christian Broadcast Association <laughs> something? I'm sorry. Like, Kim's like, isn't my the back Christian hurt, Broadcast My thing? back hurt, hurt for a second. I had to stretch yeah, it out. I sat on that plane for a long yeah. time. I did. Hurting. I did. No, they had uh, Heritage... Uh, Something USA, like there was a water park down there. They had a whole PTL. It's the Praise the Lord uh, network down in like right across from Carowinds. Hmm. Mm. So it's a whole thing. I'd rather go to Carowinds. Yeah. 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 Well, it's now abandoned. Oh, so it's like a haunted house. Yeah. Maybe oh. Carowinds will buy it and yeah. make it part of Carowinds in October. Yeah. It's the extra part because they've got like a pyramid hotel that's like um, all abandoned and shit. What, mm. ha- there's a place in Don't Orlando called. It's a theme park called the Holy Land theme park. It's the craziest shit ever. When they were first building it, I fr- they were building it. They built it like when <coughs> I think I was in like middle school. We're like, what? What? I had a cough. I had a little cough. He made a face. <laughs> I get made fun of on the show all the time. Yeah. So just, I think bring, she, just bring it. It looked like your initial cough. You just cough. You just leaned to Chuck to just cough in the side of his I face. I coughed right on the like shoulder. Like that's what it looked like. <laughs> Maybe I did. Maybe Chuck deserved it. I probably did. Uh, did you Google Holy Land theme oh, no. park? It's no. in Orlando, off uh, the Sand Lake exit, I think, hmm. or actually the uh, mm, the same exit as Mall of Millennia for you people who have been to Orlando. It is Holy Land experience. The Holy Land experience. Kind of weird, HLA. right? Like that yeah. it's a theme park. Oh yeah. Weird. What is it? Uh, you haven't explained anything to me. I haven't been. It's oh. a, it it looks like uh like a <laughs> the theme ancient... recreates the architecture and themes of the ancient city of Jerusalem in first century Judea. Hey man, I've seen it in real life. I don't yeah. need to see the theme park. Real yeah. life. Real life. <laughs> <laughs> so it's. <laughs> Huh? They got a whole thing. That's interesting. But they have a broadcasting network. That's what reminded yeah. me. There's a there's a Christian, I guess, broadcasting network based there. You should go there and, and say, oh no, this is wrong and this is that wrong. That would be fun, actually. Wrong. I've been to these places, but uh, 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 Star Wars Land <laughs> open. Ooh, in Disneyland. Oh. That's the theme park that I I I would make yeah. an exception for Disney to go visit that. That one, the one in California, opened this past weekend, and I believe the one in in Florida opens in August. Oh, right after we're there. Right after bummer. we're there, which is a major bummer, but I'm going to have to try to find a way to go back. We can go in February before the 500. Yeah. I'd like to go before that, though. Oh. <laughs> or come before that. Yeah, I'm going to find some time here. Something. Just don't tell people when you're going. You have fans show up. I no. You a Disney guy? You can be honest. I mean, yeah, we, we've, we've already, already, no, I mean, we've already, we've already crapped yeah. on people yeah, who are yeah. over the age of like forty that go to Disney frequently. It's one thing to like go for a distant like Star Wars land, cool. Well, you Let's go, go. Yeah. check it out. But I, people that make like I pilgrimages been, multiple times a year, every year. No, I know those people. Yeah, we yeah, you, some family yeah. friends, and I um I haven't been since I was a kid. Uh, but I have some cousins that I think they just go to drink around the world though. Yeah, oh, so, that's, that's so the fun. best part. Yeah, I, haven't, I haven't done it. So you haven't done it? No, I just get a bunch of texts every time they do it. Yeah. So they just... It's challenging. I've tried to do it twice. And I don't. I, I failed. Really? Yeah. Um, well. I don't could, think you, you failed. I you think could you succeeded. Do it. Well, you could, do, <laughs> you could do it if you spent like two hours doing it, but like it's, what is it, seven? Or no, it's no, like it's, 10 or 11. I feel like it's like 10 or 11 or 12. Yeah. And 
like if you put enough time in it and actually spend some time there, it's pretty easy. But if you're just like walking, yeah, and it's, from you'll make from it like country four to countries. country. Do you just stop walking and start crawling, or what? <laughs> yeah, you just well, you start just walking in circles <laughs> in the country for a little bit. But the countries are like pretty small. Like yeah. it's not like yeah. you can walk through one in like two minutes. Yeah, there's not like a lot of right. there's like one or two that have rides or like things to yeah. do there. Look at so. Yeah. I will say the food and wine festival, the international food and wine festival they do there, it's easier to get to every country because it's like smaller portions, like tapas style of the food. Mm. And the like, I don't know if the drinks are smaller because you're encouraged to go to all the countries. Yeah. According to this tank top on the internet, um, there are 11 countries that you drink in. It's USA, Japan, Morocco, France, United Kingdom, Canada, Mexico, Norway, China, Germany, and Italy. Why do you think they chose the countries they did? Like, there's some significant ones missing. Well, like, if you're doing, like, if it's, like, a beer thing, why isn't, like, you know, Holland or, like, the... You know, yeah. the I mean, Germany. Germany, yeah. Country. That's good. That, yeah, Germany yeah. is, but... Yeah. Like, England, United Kingdom, yeah. But, like, France. Fran- I don't think like, of German beer. They, like, they Belgian beer. I think of good Belgian beer, yeah. but where's... France's beer, I forget what it was, but it wasn't very good. Uh, yeah. They only had, like, one selection. They're more known for their wines. Well, that's, yeah, yeah they France. had to throw a wine thing yeah. in there, right, for all the, yeah. Yeah. the wineies out there. China, what what's China's drink? Because, uh, like, Japan's on there, and you sake. think sake, but yeah. what do, what sake kind of me. beverages do the Chinese drink? I don't they know. Got, like, there is beer, there is Chinese beer. Because, like, if you go to a Chinese restaurant, they've got a couple of the... Okay. I didn't know yeah. if there was, like, a drink of the country, though. Like, like, like tequila, Mexico. Food, yeah. I think every country makes a beer. Yeah. I mean, we're all alcoholics at some <laughs> form or level. Fair. But when yeah. you think of like, yeah, you know, I mean, Canada, Molson, Mexico, Dos Equis, mm. Japan, was it Sapporo? Sapporo. Sapporo's awesome. There's yeah. another one too. Norway, though, like Viking piss. What's like, Morocco? Is that, a, is that a beer? Oh. No, they had, they had, I forgot. I thought Norway, they had pretty good beer there. Uh, and Morocco actually had good stuff too. Um, it's not all beer. And the no, they have multiple things. Yeah. But like, or I love the food in Morocco. We stopped and actually sat down and ate in Morocco, and it was really good. I forget what it was. It was like a, I can't remember. Gyro. Euro. Gyro. Yeah. Gyro. 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 Euro. I think it's Euro. the same thing. It's like gyro. Gyro. What's gyro. the sign? Isn't there a Seinfeld episode about that? Euros. Gyros. I don't know. Gyro. They're delicious. Yeah, they are. I enjoy them. Meat. But. I'm, you were, y'all were talking about uh, falafel. Oh, I ate a lot of falafel. Mm. Never yeah. had falafel. What? Mm. I mean, I don't know what it is. What's your favorite, like, not American food? Like, what's your favorite style food to go for? Like, if your your go to is like, I'm really craving this right now. Like Italian or Mexican, Mexican. or Middle Eastern yeah, Mexican. Yeah. Mexican. Yeah, it's pretty American. Uh, I mean, especially yeah. places around here. Oh well, yeah. Like there's a lady that cooks um at the farm and that's real mexican yeah. food like mm-hmm. like don't go out to the field when there's no bathrooms out there right like, you're not <laughs> oh. used to it right i mean it's yeah you're tear you up we went down to uh reynosa mexico i shouldn't have said it like we went down to reynosa mexico <laughs> and um the, we, we were staying in a church there and the women in the neighborhood would come out at night and fix dinner for everybody and it was like the little small mm-hmm. corn tortillas oh, and just like good stuff. oh it was great yeah, like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have we talked about corn versus flour tortillas on this? I don't know if we podcast? have. I don't know if we remember. I always, I distrust. Let me guess. I think Kim is going to say she's a corn tortilla person. I am. Yeah, I can just tell. Yeah, <laughs> I distrust Mexican <laughs> restaurants that only offer flour tortillas. Welcome. I to want America. the option. The option's fine, but if you don't have corn tortillas, are you really a Mexican restaurant? Mm. Or you just Taco Bell? Yeah, hey, I like Taco Bell. Do you not <laughs> like corn tortillas? It's not that I don't like them. I just prefer flour tortillas oh, and corn okay. ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. But when I go, like, you know, you're talking about legitimately, you know, Mexican food or whatever. When I go to Costa Rica, like, they have the guys on the side of the street, you know, in the little town, and they have the street meat. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's all they They only serve corn tortillas and whatever meat it is. Street I don't know meat. what it is. <laughs> you don't ask. Don't ask. I, I made that mistake. I screwed up one time, and I was hammered drunk, and, <laughs> and we're walking around through this town, and I was like, hey, man, what meat is this? It's awesome. It was like my fifth time having it. I didn't know what it was, but it was good. And he was like, he was like, oh, you like that, huh? I'm like, yeah, I do. He's like, oh, that's monkey. I'm like, oh, uh, what? He's like, it's monkey. I didn't. I think he was screwing with me. It probably was dog you or something. Know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, oh, would you rather man. it be monkey or dog? Hey, it was, 
it was good as long as there was it was not like an AIDS monkey. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I, it's fine. I had it all along. It's fine. Yeah. I, <laughs> uh, is there? Can you get something for monkey here. meat? Right? Yikes! You're gonna have Morgan Freeman come in and yeah. like seal off. That's the, such a good movie. Right, yeah. We'll just share glasses of water. Do you yeah. guys have to. <laughs> monkey meat? Here, you want a sip of my coffee? Yeah, it really screwed me up. <laughs> the rest of that, I was like, I just eat monkey. I'm like, oh. I don't get know. dreams about a monkey like it's haunting you. Probably a cat or something. I don't know. It was good though. It was good. I'm I've excited to see the food they got in like Russia and Istanbul and stuff. Eat some. I Brazil. love Turkish food. Turkish food is yeah. delicious. Yeah. Very, very good. They yeah. have this bread, this lavash bread. It's really good. Mm. And yeah, I love Turkish food. I don't know that I'd brush Russian. What would. I don't know. I've had Serbian food. Your Serbian is good. Serbian's really good. Mm. Intermezzo is Serbian. Yes, it is. You ever been to Intermezzo? In, in, oh, it's or, authentic yeah. Serbian. Yeah. Mm. It's it's, it's kind of like a cross between like German, mm-hmm. so like schnitzels and uh, things of that nature, and then like yeah. Greek, yeah, like uh, Mediterranean something. Yeah, mm. is good. I would recommend it. Let's try it. I'd highly have it recommend there. it. If they have it, I thought the funniest thing was you know my sister lives in West Virginia now, and uh, like hills of West Virginia, pretty much. And we were like, she was like, let's go out to eat. I'm like, all right. Go to eat. She's like, we got Japanese steakhouse in here. I'm like, she's like, it's a sushi joint. I'm like, I don't trust this <laughs> sushi. <laughs> in the hills of West Virginia. Oh, uh, yeah. Not known for their uh, cuisine. It was a good place. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It was yeah. a good place, but it just, it just really took you, you know, three for a loop. Sushi joint in West Virginia. Okay, all doing all right? Doing well. See him racing every now and then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's running uh, the full all star deal. Yeah. Keeps him busy, and mm-hmm. dad's running about. 45 races this year so they stay busy saw so one of kale's stickers from his nascar tenure in the one of the stalls at the bathroom somewhere recently i was like <laughs> oh <laughs> oh hold on kale. i was like kale's kale's doing? Doing? sitting there I'm like huh i don't know why they would put that there if someone was probably i'm sure they didn't do it like was it it was like was right it? you sit in the toilet it was right there oh. just looking. right there all you saw was kale Connolly. He had like the mountains and stuff wow his logo maybe he Maybe he was just going to the bathroom and had one in his pocket. He he's just like, All right I there. want people to think about me when they're taking a shit. <laughs> Put it right in the stall. It's better than you ever see. Uh, <laughs> grosses me out is when you see stickers like, in the urinal. You ever see that? Mm-hmm. Did you see the one this weekend? Like, that actually, said, in how's the... your aim? No. Oh. It was a shooting range. <laughs> Stop. I'm serious. I missed it. The Pocono bathrooms. Um, well, big time here. Probably go to the bus. But <laughs> in the... <laughs> in the... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like to go to the bathroom. My yep. best. Um, yeah, in the, it's comfortable. Um, by the way, plastic urinal. It looks like they cut out by hand in Pocono. They added more. Um, it was like a center trough? in there. Yeah, but there was, it had no water, so Ooh. it was just just a it just like a little tub and nice. just. It was fine. There's a bathroom attendant. Pocono has attendants. Oh. So did you try your aim? I felt like my aim was respectable. Did Were there the like attendant levels? judge the aim? Like, no, is that what the attendant no. does? No. Doing good. Two centimeters to the left. Adjust <laughs> the, for wind. Yeah, what did the attendant do at the Pocono bathroom? Like, he's handing out mints and hand towels? There was no, no, no. Just sat there, cleaned, um, mopped. I saw him mop the entire toilet. And I was what? like, yeah, I'm not going to that one. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> yeah. What if it was just a guy who didn't work there who was just hanging out in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> hoping to I get tips. Hoping to get I, tips. I, yeah. I tipped him. Mine. Did you? Yeah. Where You just had cash in your fire suit? What's happening here? It was in regular clothes. Oh, okay. I'm like picturing you and you're going in there in your fire suit and right. just having like no, cash think. in your fire suit. That's like when the uh, gate guards ask you for your hard card when you're in your suit. Yeah. Just chuckle. Yeah. I'm like, dude, come on. What do you say? I, I, I don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I got to go get in that car over there. Yeah. That's my, my hard card. Yeah. No. I, I don't. Will, I will give the gate cards credit or the tracks for giving them more information they've been a little bit more lenient they have uh this year which i don't has been good. think they used to know what to uh-uh. they were just kind of thrown out there mm-hmm. i mean it, it's a part-time gig bad bosses yeah well uh, like speaking of the part-time gigs like the bathroom attendants i don't re- like they make me uncomfortable at times like if you're out like the guys in the airport like that's mm-hmm. kind of kind of a weird place for a like bathroom attendant nightclubs nightclubs are they independently contracted and they bring their own like like there's candies and like they, like they yeah. bring their own stuff. I think so. Like there's one guy. There used to be a bar called Dixie's in Uptown that had like a guy with a boombox that would always play like old school hip hop. That's what these guys. These guys had boomboxes. Yeah, like yeah, at Pocono. 
Yeah. Like CD, like you, the, you push the button. No, the CD, you push the button and you put a CD in the top yeah, of it. Yeah, like the one. old school one. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Battery weird. powered. Weird. They got to stay entertained Same. throughout the day, man. I know, but like, does anybody actually utilize the bathroom attendant to its fullest? Uh, no. Oh. I like the thought of music, though, in the bathroom because it yeah. might put people at ease if they have to do certain duties in the public bathroom. Fire off a grumper or two. Well, just like <laughs> there's a, a little, it's like having an exhaust on. There's like a sound, yeah. a sound. Um, You're not as self-conscious. Yes. You you need sound. You're do not, you need sound? If do you're you, around like, other people do or people sound? are yeah. in your house, do <laughs> to, you need sound to mask what's happening in like your a stall? Fan. No, I, a fan. I really don't care. I mean, <laughs> I'll let it go. But yeah, the sound, if you're self-conscious about like, oh, this one might like might have a loud. Like a kerplunk. You know, yeah, like that might make people more comfortable. But I I don't care. I mean, everyone does it. It's like a kid's book. Well, everybody, I, I, poops, I get man. everybody does it. But it's yeah. nice to have like... A little bit of distraction too, yeah. because like if you're just sitting there and there's no sound, then but, like your mind yeah. starts to wander. Or in a public restroom when it's like somebody tries to cough to like yeah. cover a. <laughs> I've heard that a lot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> to cough, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Or like rattles the toilet paper thing, like yeah. jiggles it to like create sound, so it's not like just spotlight on them. Or like the guy that's <laughs> standing at the urinal rips a fart and then he can pee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, is that you? Do you yeah. have to do that? I didn't know that it's was like, the thing. They, That's like a, thing. a lot of like old folks, like you'll hear them like rip one and then you'll hear the. <laughs> like, just, I mean, I know people that them. do that. Yeah. Huh? Like that will fart when they pee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, well, you know why the bathroom attendants bring the, the boom music, box. the boom boxes, so they don't have to hear people <laughs> yeah, shitting yeah, all day. Yeah. So they like, <laughs> I mean, how awkward point. would that be if he's just standing there doing his job and there's just one other guy in the stall and he has to listen to that guy? push out a grumper like he's got to have some music to it probably makes that thing, hit, to your point probably makes his business better because if somebody if there's no other sound and somebody <laughs> just, just goes to town he's not going to want to like interact with the attendant and, like what make eye contact and get a tip. like airport bathrooms stink to high heaven like there is no smell worse than an airport bathroom the bad thing is rarely airport bathrooms have any doors on them too yeah it's just an open just corridor just wafting out <laughs> into the open man but you don't like, smell it in the hallway though yeah no. i don't think so it, they do a good job yeah. like it, it just dissipates i guess i feel yeah. like that's why you have to tip them is because like man i feel sorry for you it you gotta is. stand in here breathing in shit particles all day i've never seen an like, airport attendant or a, a bathroom attendant in an airport bathroom though what? you've never what i, just, I see I people think Atlanta going there, like mop all the time yeah, they're in the, I mean, I the see bathroom them cleaning at, uh, them but not like an attendant no. that's got no, like here borrow this cologne or this breath freshener. No, do no, you yeah. ever use like the the pump of mouthwash with like the little cups they get <laughs> no refuse no i don't know what they're doing no but like they like at the one in charlotte like there are guys that will like pull off towels and like hand them to you oh. right and it's not always but it oh. happens and it's just like how do you like, what is your job title? Maybe. I, I, bathroom what, assistant? I'm going to let you go, Kim. Go. No, I'm going to let you go. No. I'm going to let you go. No. Well, go ahead. You I'll, go. I'll, I'll go. go. Dead air, then. I'll oh, go. fine. Um, no, okay. Well, I think that- <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know how, like, coal miners get, like, black lung from bring, breathing in oh. all the coal dust? <laughs> Do they get, like, shit lung? Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe, though, bathroom attendants in the airport... <laughs> That are handing out towels encourage people to wash their hands because you're like you're feeling guilty if somebody's Nothing holding worse a towel. Then watch somebody walk out and not wash their oh, hands. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. get on like, a plane. Important people that I look up to, I've like in NASCAR, mm-hmm. like, high yeah. up people, like dressed up, like How do you, oh yeah, and you know they're shaking hands all day. It's bad. So you've not, seen not with me anymore. You've yep. seen NASCAR executives not wash their hands. Well, I didn't say NASCAR specifically. I meant in the sport. High ups in the sport. Oh, okay. I'm just leaving in a general. very broad yeah. window so like, for who p- that could potentially be. Potentially like team owners I'm just or crew chiefs or. And, <laughs> interesting. I'm not shaking their hand. Okay. Yeah. Don't let her. I'm gonna don't let a, her reporter get you here. I'm to gonna, say something. No, I'm not gonna. No. I don't. I want to know for personal. You're not, fishing. I'm fishing so that I don't shake these people's hands. We'll do off air. I'm gonna pay closer it's Joey, attention. Isn't it? It's Joey. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to pay closer attention to who Ross does and does not shake hands with. Chip Wild. Kim, Kim's going to be sitting there walk, walking around the garage like with a notepad. You guys are going to want this Shook info. His hand. Shook I'm his gonna, hand. I'm going to watch Didn't Ross, shake his hand. and then Ross is not going to, he's going to like be like fist bump and says shake hand. And then I'm going to see Ryan like go in for a full oh. shake hand. I'm going to say him after. I'm going to say, you know what? I saw Ross, and he did not shake that guy's hand. There are drivers that just do the fist bump. 
as their thing. I think thing. because they're germaphobes. Right. But, mm-hmm. you know, maybe that could be why. I mean, that goes <laughs> it goes back to the same thing. You're yeah. shaking hands with fans and things all day, and they're, they There's, don't know where they've been. Mm, they you know. build up the immune system. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Builds up the immune system, I guess. I don't know. Eesh. But I was going to say about the bathroom attendant thing. You know, the places that have the best bathroom attendants, and they always have them are clubs, adult establishments. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But the, like, they, I don't know why. There's always well, there. there I could I could see why maybe. Like, <laughs> Once you get you clean. Uh, no. There's also some very There's a security close. ask, you know, like, uh, well, yeah, there's a can't, like, ask, sneak but, in anywhere. And, well, uh, security, and then there's a there's close um, interpersonal uh that's what, yeah. uh, engagements sure to where like maybe no you want a breath mint maybe you don't want to smell like a uh, sweaty man when yeah. do, you want, do you want my assortment do you want Ooh. one of these 15 colognes I have here for you as well yeah well, they're hoping that they have the one that maybe you wore when you came out so that way you're not cross pollinating right. do you Clones. think the dancers and um, strippers for lack of a better <laughs> the entertainers here talk to the attendants and say Frank can you please take that cologne off out of your repertoire because I can't smell like well, no. cedar and sandalwood anymore Theirs dancing for these guys? It. Huh? Their own just overpowers it. Oh, the strippers. There's perfume? a specific smell. <laughs> Ross is just like, I want to move on from this. Ross is I don't like, want it. it's like uh, this is making sweating. me uncomfortable uh, right now. I know yeah. men really like the only man smell that people <laughs> I think like nowadays is like sandalwood or cedarwood. Yeah, it's like, everywhere. You see it all on the soaps and deodorants. And are you a cologne guy? Not really. No. Just, you? I just used Old Spice aftershave and the old, you know, the old man thing. Yeah. Splash a little bit of that on. I'll use it if I'm going aftershave. Like, really? Yes. What do yes. you shave? <laughs> it's just it's it's a smell good thing. It doesn't actually have to do with the shaving part. But yeah. mm. Mm. I'll do. So it you put on a, a product, dress yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. You're like going out to like a yeah formal gathering, I guess. And, you know, put some on you, but I don't, don't do it. No, all the time because then I feel like throughout the day it just smells worse. Well, <laughs> men's know. deodorant has a strong smell usually anyway. Yeah. So why would you're just like. Adding more and more smells, but it's Old Spice. I use Old Spice and Old Spice, so it's the same. Mm. It's in the brand. Yeah, I'm a brand guy. In the family. Yeah, I'm an axe guy. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) you like you you like smelling like a lumberjack. Yeah, I wanted you to say you were a secret man, like you were using strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. My dad used secret all growing up. (laughs) I'm not kidding. He said it worked better. It's probably good for your skin. I mean, I'm sure yeah. it's got better lotions in it and stuff. Sorry, Dad. Dove. Although he would probably tell you. Great. He would probably guy. tell you. Your dove guy. Dove guy. guy. Yeah. Dove Spray. Is awesome. Okay. Aerosol. Oh, yeah. It feels right. like nothing. Yeah. Aerosol deodorant, really? Oh yeah. Do you feel like it works better? It does. Yeah. I um hmm. I got something going on when I use like a stick. Uh, it like deforms mm-hmm. the middle. It, it, I don't know. I got like of a, the stick. Yeah, like you rub like, it on, and it, okay, like you know, they're like curved up in the middle. Yours yeah. ends up concave. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like really. Just, yeah, eventually it does. You just keep rolling her up. Yeah. So what about you, like Chuck? It. What's the yeah. shape of your deodorant post use? Mine, mine stays in the little. Mine little stays arc, pretty much, yeah. or goes flat. Yeah, flat. I guess mine would go more flat. It's yeah. not like a U. No, mine's, but yeah. do you, all right. Hmm. Going out Friday night, where if you spray in cologne. Where do you hit? What do you mean? What do you spots? Like, <laughs> are you like? Are you straight out? Do you walk into it? Walk into it? <laughs> you walk, yeah. Do you walk through it? Do you hit like the neck and uh, then hit, 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 hit the downstairs mix up? Um, well, excuse me. <laughs> downstairs mix up. The downstairs Whoa. mix up. You're spraying your junk. Do you spray? Your are junk? you spraying naked? No. Or are you spraying no, in clothes? Clothed. Chuck sprays his junk. Apparently. Do you spray your junk? I got a question right here that said, "Put cologne on junk." Wow. Question mark. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd be worried like. Is this weird? Are we worried it would like burn? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I don't think I would ever put anything on not clothed and spray junk. I think a lot of people spray cologne and perfume when they're naked versus over their clothes. You're not supposed, I don't. You're not supposed to spray it on your clothes. You're supposed to spray it on your body, yeah. I've been told. And the body heat helps the scent. I guess. I don't know. I, yeah. I put one here and then Two I on think the chest, I touch one on, the... one on my neck. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really do it. I don't know. I butt a little bit. <laughs> try, try, try to cover the smell there. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the difference between the front bit, side or the, the back bit, side there? A little bit um, yeah. of a, like a mint. <laughs> Put it in the mouth. <laughs> Some banaca. <laughs> yeah. Oh, banaca. That needs to come back like in full force. Banaca. Banaca. What? Oh, is Ace it? Ventura. Is it No, but also uh, Dumb and Dumber where he sprays it and it's <laughs> not. And this is like. <laughs> yeah. 
the sour spray stuff. Oh, the candy? Yeah, the sour candy spray you used to do. Russ, do you have any cologne application techniques? No. I don't use cologne. No. No. You smell like the watermelon fields? (laughs) Oh, the watermelon. Burnt or bear. Do the watermelon fields? Like, do the tracks? Does Michigan have a unique smell to it? Not really. Uh, see what I was trying to do there? Yeah, I see what you're trying yeah, to do. We'll find out this week. Yeah, we'll find out this week. <laughs> Michigan is a large producer of cherries, so maybe the Michigan smells like cherries. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All the fans are going to have in their moonshine. Churro moonshine. They get rowdy at Michigan. I've heard that. I've never yeah. really been out. Oh, right out in the campground. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's you go early in the morning, like Saturday or Sunday, and they're just still sleeping outside. <laughs> yep. Like, I'd I'd say it gives Talladega like the boulevard, like but it's the whole really the whole infield. Hmm. Well, the way the schedule is this weekend, uh, remind us. Well, so yeah. they it's just like Pocono. So we yeah. have two practices. Our only practices are on Friday, and then all we do Saturday is qualify at twelve thirty. And then um, so Friday night I might I might take a little ride around, time. ride around the infield and see what the, all the fuss is about. Yes, those Michiganers. Do you Michigan. you got anything fun you do when you're up there in Michigan? Either of you? In our Detroit. Fun. No. Detroit, mm-hmm. Rock City. Motown. No. You should check out Motown if you ever get the chance. The they have a museum still there where they made all the records, you know, Stevie Wonder, uh, mm. uh Dan Ross. And, uh, how, f- how far is the city from the racetrack? Good. Uh, we we fly into Detroit when mm-hmm. we go up there, so 50 minutes maybe. We just, yeah. Duck off from the airport and then go, but it's yeah, it's okay. yeah. there is um very good Middle Eastern food in Detroit because there's a large Middle Eastern population. So if you want some hummus, hummus. and the falafel mm. that you've never tried, I, unfortunately I won't be in Michigan. My next oh, race that I'm going to, to is uh, Daytona. So well, you're oh wow, you? you got a long gap. I know, I know. <laughs> you're there in spirit. Can I say one thing? And yep, yeah. Be offended if you want, but <laughs> your, your voice in the driver crew chief video. <laughs> Is it getting old now? Man. It's getting you're old. You're so excited about everything. Yeah. Well, you are, and you're yeah. yelling. Oh, chuckles. Yelling. <laughs> you, I, I, don't ever, I don't ever. Please make sure you have the current crew chief handout and pit road penalty right, card so with you for the yeah. race. I don't ever go to the driver crew chief meeting, so this is. You sound this is the, yeah, really excited. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't say, get you guys amped up. It gets me fired up. Yeah. <laughs> look, oh, man. Poor Chuck. I, I, look, you rocked it. It's better it's, than it used to be. Who used to do it? Rick, Rick Allen used to do it yeah, for a little Rick bit. Allen, yeah. and Mike Joy. Uh, Mike Joy, yeah. Broadcasters Did you would have do it. to uh, audition yeah. for that? I'm a cheaper option. <laughs> 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 let's, just, let's just, you know. You change it every week too, right? Ish. We record a whole batch of them yeah. next, at one time. Okay, next time you record, you should try and change it up for them. Did, Crew chief, please make sure you're on the crew. They might, he might <laughs> be getting direction, though. Does somebody say, Chuck, we need a little more enthusiasm mm-hmm. from you? you should yeah, it. there is a producer there. That's do it drunk one time. Yes. <laughs> All right. So All right, boys, <laughs> line them up. There's only one place where the safety car can enter the track. It's on the back street. It's right here. If <laughs> you look on this PowerPoint, it's flashing right now. And don't have the, the animated video that. either. Look, Just have oh. yeah. the camera and you, and you're like, Pointing at a black yellow line to yellow line. You see this line right here and this line right here. You can only go 55 miles an hour this (laughs) time. Okay. (laughs) If you go faster than that, you're. I wish it was. They're they're going to give you a penalty. It's going to be a pass through. It might be a stop and go if you do it again. It would get people's attention. I got to mark that one at 11 11. To be honest, though. I mean, you got to sound excited for it because yeah. the fans in there, yeah. it's their first time yeah. at Irish meetings usually. And I, I remember the first couple of times I went to them, I was, <clears throat> wow, uh, I don't know what that was. Getting all uh, choked up. Yeah. yeah. No, I did. I had five truck races and I thought each time I was like, well, I got four more driver meetings. <laughs> oh, I got three more. Only two more. Oh, this is my last one. I mm. thought I was done. So mm. I did do it live in Iowa one time. That was fun. Did. Yeah. That was <laughs> Only because Wayne Otten didn't want to read it. Right. Well, I'm staring at Helton the whole time in the back of the room, and that mustache was glaring at me. And, like, my hand, oh. like, my leg was shaking because it was like, Mike Helton's back there. Mike Helton is staring at me. Don't screw this up. A little bit of, Mike Helton will know. A little bit of piss went down your yeah. leg right there. Yeah. Didn't it? yeah. Yeah. Hey, he fist bumped me this weekend. I wonder if he thinks I don't wash my hands. <laughs> oh. He did. I got a fist bump from Mike Helton. Oh. Hmm. That was. I might have peed I don't a even think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't a little even bit of weed came he, out. Uh, <laughs> usually fist pumps anyone, so maybe he's mm-hmm. feeling you. Maybe he's you're, he's vibing on Ross Chastain. Because of boys now. Man. Y'all vibing. We vibing. But we are running low on the time, so. When do you leave for time to hit the music. Uh, Russia? Next Wednesday. Okay. Eight days. Okay. Eight days. I'll, I'm going to go down to Georgia <laughs> Tuesday. 
and okay. uh, we'll fly out Wednesday night. Really? Let you know if I make it. So we'll have to figure out the if he's on, so we can make fun of him so while he's gone in Russia. So yeah, I will not be here next week. Right? Oh, okay. Is, is yeah. the thing. All right. Yeah, that's the point of that. Yeah. Unless we film Monday, which we could. We you could know. film Monday. Maybe he's trying to film so we don't have the opportunity to. Yeah, but then about Monday. Him. But when do you come back from Russia? That's the question. So like, I don't know. We if I ever come back. If you ever come back. <laughs> it's true. I cannot wait just to talk about it, hear about it. Yeah. I might pack some jorts and like oh, all racing do. t-shirts. Yes. Make it as American as possible. Yes. So do it. New crowd away from. Ross, thank you for joining us. Thank you. You got any advice for him when he's going to uh, Russia? Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Appreciate You're that. Need it. Good yeah. luck. Uh, be sure to rate and review in iTunes. That helps us. That bumps the thing up. Tell your friends. Like us in Facebook. We got that group. Also, subscribe to the YouTube mm-hmm. stuff and comment. And watch Michigan this weekend. Watch Michigan. And don't be too mean in the comments. Channel your energy better. Or come up with some good ones. Give that. us a philosophizer now. Because yeah. <laughs> I got shit on by some mean fans. <laughs>